Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing an empties video for you guys. I have quite a bit here, as you can see. We are going to start with skincare because I feel like that's the category that I have the most of that is interesting. So let's start with that. I'm going to start with these little foil packet sample things um, that I have. One is this Purity Facial Cleanser from Philosophy. I have used this before and I do like it but um, I just I needed something really quick and easy to bring with me and this is what I had and I know that it worked so this is what I chose to use I just used it up um, I think I only got like two or maybe three uses out of this uh, again I know I like this product it's a good one um, and I like it when I get little samples of it because then I can travel with it. This I guess isn't a sample but it's like a sachet looking thing. Um, this is by RX Acne Pimple Master Patch and this had 24 patches in it um, and I actually talked about this in my haul video so if you haven't seen my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul video Go check that out. Um, I did actually repurchase this and I repurchased like a bigger one that has more patches in it. I have been enjoying these. I've been using them a lot lately and yeah so I used this all up. There's nothing left in here um, and I'm glad that I was able to repurchase these especially for a good deal. Next is this MG dynamic hydrating eye mask and these are okay um, I actually much prefer these over the ones that I was using in my project pan video uh, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen that video the one that kind of covers your eyes I hated those it's by the same brand but I much prefer this one again this is the dynamic hydrating one and the shape of them is a lot different it's more the normal type of shape that you would use under your eyes There's one in here one set and I used it under my eyes as I was getting ready for like an event um, and I used it while I was doing my eyeshadow so that I didn't get a lot of fallout and then also just kind of to help with my under eye situation um, and then after I did my eyes eye makeup I took this off and did the rest of my face. So I kind of really liked it for that. Right, so now into some full size products. I used up my Garnier Micellar Water. Oh, I am so sad. I actually really love this product and I have repurchased it multiple times. I do recommend it and I probably will purchase it again in the future at some point. Um, this is the Garnier Skin Actives Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One Waterproof. I mostly use these for my eye makeup remover and think it works really, really well for that. Um, also, I've used it all over my face, but I just feel like if I just use it as on my eyes, then it goes a longer way um, and I can use other things on my face. That don't work for my eyes so that's what I do with these I love them next is this Clinique um, moisture surge hydrating lotion and this is for all skin types this is like a product that I didn't really know what to do with and I think I asked in a, uh, another video a previous video um, and somebody answered in the comments that this was more of like a, a serum type of product that you use like before a moisturizer and whatnot um, and I did try it that way and it was fine um, but I also used it kind of in place of a toner like kind of more as like a an essence in place of a toner and I preferred it that way especially since I didn't really have a toner at the time and this worked all right that way so that's what I ended up using it for. This is another moisture surge item from that line um, from Clinique and this is the 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. If you've seen any type of video from me whether it be like a previous empties or favorites video or something like that uh, you will know that I love this product and I have been through so so many of these so many of these and this one's actually a huge one like look at it compared to the size of my head my hand um, this is a 4.2 fl fluid ounce normally I usually get like the one ounce um, or I think there might be a two ounce one as well but this was in a gift set and it was a really good deal and it had a lot in it um, and this lasted me what like two two and a half months um, which is pretty good because the one ounces usually last me like a month that's it no more than that um 
so actually I think this lasted me three months come to think of it this might have lasted me a little bit longer um, but that's also because I use this morning and night so I think that's why I went through it a little bit quicker than I normally would if I was just using like a one ounce um, size of this but I absolutely love 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 this product amazing for the summertime it's my go-to I will always repurchase this and I highly recommend it another product that I used up this took me a long time to use up actually this is from the ordinary and this is their vitamin C suspension 23% plus AH spheres 2% water free silicone free I actually used this like mixed in with um, my moisturizer at nighttime and I think that this was nice. I think it helped with a little bit of the texture that I was getting on my skin. Um, I also think it helped a little bit with breakouts and evening my skin tone. If you're interested in this product, I would say to check it out and try it because it was good. Um, and maybe I will purchase this sometime you know, in the future. After using this, I am interested to try more Ordinary products because um, I have heard good things about them. So let me know down below if you have tried any Ordinary products that you love and maybe I will have to check those out. All right, last skincare product is like a little deluxe size and this is from Pure and this is the 4-in-1 Cloud Cream Gel to Water Hydrating Essence Moisturizer. This one is almost watery, not white but as soon as you do apply it it almost turns into like a water consistency um which i think is why it says gel to water uh, i think that is very true uh the gel is very thin though um but yeah this was nice a very simple moisturizer and i think it worked well as something to use after that clinique one um and i don't know if i would purchase this though i feel like i would still purchase that clinique one over this but it was really nice to be able to try this and know that it is a little bit similar my other categories for the most part are pretty small so i'm going to just kind of go through those real quick i have a few hair products I have this shampoo that I was using, which is by Matrix Biolage Cooling Mint Scalp Shampoo. I actually liked this. I thought it was really nice. Um, I don't know if it did a whole lot for my hair. Uh, I think it did help a little bit, but not to the point where like I'd buy it again because I want to have my hair grow more. Um, but it was nice. So if this was like on sale, a really good price, like 50% off, um, I would probably purchase this. So I do have a couple of uh, Project Pan spoilers in here. This is one of them, and this is the Take a Shot Man-Made Wash Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash in the scent Sweet Tobacco. I don't know what I was thinking that this was gonna be, or I, I don't know. This was not my favorite. Um, I actually didn't like the scent. Um, I think as I used it, it did grow on me a little bit, but it's I, I would not reach for this if I had a choice. Um, I think this is probably for guys. <laughs> it's very possible. Um, but I had the sample and I didn't want it to go to waste. Um, and I did use it as a shampoo. I did use it as a conditioner and I did use it as a body wash. So I used it as all three things it could be used for. Um, honestly, I think it worked well for actually almost all of those. So uh, any guys that like this scent um, that use like an all-in-one product, like this is this is pretty good. Like it worked well as a shampoo. It even worked well as a conditioner, which really, really surprised me. Um, and it worked well as a body wash. It lathered a lot. Um, no matter what type of thing I used it for, which is what I think probably helped make it, you know, work for all three. Um, I think my favorite thing to use it for might have been the body wash just because it was so sudsy. Um, a little bit of this went a long way, like a long way. Like I use this a lot of times and this is just a little foil sample and I got a lot of use out of this. That's why I was able to use it for all of these things multiple times just to form more of an opinion on it. Um, so if this product is something that interests you or would be good for like a guy in your life, um, I would recommend it, but personally I just didn't love the scent, um, so it's not something I would purchase, but I used it up, that's what counts. I have a, just a few makeup products, um, I have another Project Pain spoiler, um, this is from Kula and this is their 
makeup setting spray with SPF 30. I'm really happy that it was just a little guy. I actually didn't like this. So um, this was also my project pan. Otherwise, I probably would have decluttered it. Also, what I noticed is this is expired. Let me know. If you have tried this product, let me know down below how it was for you because I think I just... I need to try it again is really what I think I think I need to try it again this little guy here oh it's such a bummer okay so this is kind of a declutter because this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara so I actually know that I like this mascara I also know other people in my family love this mascara and I had this little sample and I went to use it because I needed something waterproof and I went to use it opened it for the first time and it was completely dried out and again this is like a little itty bitty sample um, and I couldn't use it at all like it was bad let me show you because it looked exactly like this when I first opened it it's not wanting to focus so hopefully you can kind of see it here um, but it is like super clumped up at the top like there's no getting that off so I was really bummed about that. Um, this is why I'm really trying to work through my makeup collection and not buy too many extra products, especially my makeup, especially mascara, because I have a good amount of mascara products. If you have seen my inventory videos, you know. Um, and this is what I keep find happening. Like I'm opening a new mascara and because it is older, I can't even use it because of it being all dried out. So really frustrated with that so technically I didn't use it up it is a declutter because uh, I can't use it this one here is a little foil packet thing ish I don't know um, it's a card like a makeup card um, this is from Tarte and this is their shape tape contour concealer and as you can see it had like a ton of different colors I actually used a couple of the colors you can see here I have the full size of this and I know I like it body products. I have this here, this Dove body wash, and this is in Snow Blossom. Pretty big size. This is a 22 ounce. Um, it smelled fine. It's not like my favorite scent, but it's not bad at all. I did still enjoy using this. Um, this is their nourishing body wash and I liked it. I thought it worked pretty well. I am using another Dove body wash at the moment. It's a much smaller size. And I have another declutter, which is a Project Pan spoiler. <sighs> I don't know why I do this. Um, in my Project Pan, I pick like different things from different categories. Um, and I've been choosing a fragrance item each month. Um, and I usually have been doing like a little sample size fragrance because I'm trying to work through those as well. And I thought I smelt this before filming that video and choosing this one, but uh, I used this one or two times after filming that video and I hated it. Hated it. This is the Prada Milano um, Infusion De Iris perfume if you like the scent good. I'm, I'm happy for you I'm glad but for me it was just no 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 so that's getting uh probably passed along to somebody hopefully somebody likes okay. it okay now we are on to our random kind of section so I'm gonna super speed through this um I have a dove loofah as you can see it went crazy um and it was time for a new one so there's that then I used up this Johnson baby shampoo which uh is a pretty good size container and I used all of it up. I actually used this for washing my brushes, my makeup brushes, sponges, things like that and I really like it for that and I need to purchase some more but right now I have something else that I'm using. I think it's the Beauty Blender Solid that I will be using for a little bit and then once I'm out of that I will probably go back to purchasing this. This is by Natural. This is a Biotin Beauty um, Fast Dissolving Dietary Supplement and this promotes healthy hair skin and nails and I actually got this because um I have been suffering with some hair issues here and so I wanted something to help um I got over here as well uh to kind of help grow that hair I guess more hair and I don't think it works the greatest you're only supposed to take one a day and that's what I did um, I did like this, the taste of them. They are strawberries. If you've seen my other empties videos, you know I have these hand washes that I don't like from Simply Pleasure and I have Lilac Dream and Pina Colada. Last product is Q-tips. Uh, yep, used up a whole thing of this. This had 500 cotton swabs in it 
and yeah I like I actually really like this brand um, I also like the Meyer brand as well but I think this one is just a little bit better that is everything for my empties for this month I hope you guys enjoyed watching it don't forget to like and subscribe for more let me know down below what have you used up lately what are some empties that you are proud of uh, put them in the comments and I will see you all later bye